Hello, this is Echo G. Welcome to Review Anime Review. And today we are reviewing Fatal 100 Year Quest uh, Auto on Arc. Yes, I was originally going to plan to do like episode by episode, but there wasn't no like right stopping point to do an episode by episode. So I just decided to wait until like the arc was finished. And it just so happens we are finished with the arc. Yes, Autoon has been defeated. The arc is finished. Epilogue, full credits. And we have officially started the Selene arc. Or the Selene editor arc. I don't know how to pronounce the name of the world's editor. I mean, it's here. Editor. I still don't know how to pronounce the name. I mean, it's here. Editor. I still don't know how to pronounce the name for the life of me. It's same with it's like pronouncing Ephelsia. I still don't know how to pronounce the name, even with the sub, even with them reading it to me, <laughs> even them with them pronouncing it for me. But yes, we are in the L2 arc, so let's get. Let's get a recap of what happened in the Ordon. Tons of stuff happened in the Ordon arc. Apparently, there was a battle for Fairy Tale 2. Yep, a Fairy Tale guild. But unlike the battle with Fairy Tale when Narcissus took control, 
Um, everybody's fighting against Team Natsu. So, yeah. Uh, and Natsu does most of the work for them. <laughs> like, yeah. And I believe Urza fights Thorsis at this arc. And, yeah, that's a pretty cool fight. And just, and as you saw in the opening, I'm obsessed with that opening. That point, why wasn't that an opening for the anime? I have no idea. Like, come on. That was a missed opportunity right there. And hopefully it'll be an opening for season, for the second season. I'm hoping that it's an opening for the second season. But come on. That, hearing that ballad just gets you pumped up. And that's probably the highlight of this season is the Urza, the Urza versus Osses fight. That's such a cool... Just hearing that ballad play throughout the fight is probably the coolest part of the season of Wanjia Quest. Just hearing that ballad just gets you pumped up and makes you juice up, ready to see some action down. And apparently that fight is pop Even though Urza does technically lose and ends in a draw technically because both opponents yes Urza was the one to go down first but losses did get knocked out so yeah and then then again lots of sports is the one to get back up it doesn't matter they both uh, yeah I know many people are gonna say lots is one but in my eyes, it, it was a draw. Yeah. Even though many people will say lots is one. <laughs> in my eyes, it's a draw. But anyway. That's both of them wore each other out. Even though as it was the first to fall, Lotsis did fall legit right after. And yes, Lotsis did get back up first and helped carry Urza. But that was after. I'm not going to count that because that was when the Fets were off and it's probably the reason why he got back up. Or the Fets of Ferris's... Oops, spoilers. Of the White Mage's spell. That's probably the effects of what happened. But yeah. That's probably what happened during... The effects, I guess the effects of the spell ward off or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure how the white mages such I'm not gonna feel even though I took the gear reveal the name. Sorry about that. Sorry for an anime only fans people who I took the key revealed her name. My bad. <laughs> but yeah. Um unintentionally I revealed her name. Whoops. Pretend like you didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, but the white mage uh, powers are kind of weird. It's kind of not sure what her element, what kind of magic she has. But apparently, she can suck magic right out of you. Oh, the power out of you. And then, what I also like is. Um, the fights are pretty good. Like Lozana versus Lucy, that's a pretty cool fight. We get to see two characters who actually became close friends fight each other. Yeah, that's a pretty cool fight. And then Gray versus Team Shadow Gear. That's the name. That's the name of the team. Team Shadow Gear. I believe that's the name of the team. Team Lotsis, okay? I believe that's the name of the team. Team Shadow Gear, I believe. I don't know. It's been a minute since I watched the original anime. <laughs> since I watched that anime, which I'm planning to rewatch after Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. And I'm actually planning to review like each arc of that season. So, yeah, I spent like a lot of videos regarding Fairy Tale, and that's. And that's all of Nets here, pretty much. But yeah. But yeah. Um, I really enjoyed the battle of this arc because of how iconic the fights are. And yeah, those fights are very cool. 
like the highlight fights for me are probably Ozo versus Zotis, um, one of the God Seeds versus Jalal, because of Oh Tier dies. Oh Tier, no. But yeah, that legit got me crying. That legit got me emotional. I was like, no, not Oh Tier, not Oh Tier. She finally, she finally died, and. Even though she technically already died already, and she became old, so technically her old self is still alive. Even though she's probably, but her younger self actually died. But her time, her time form died for help saving Jalal, and Altia is pretty much dead. Is yeah, she she died, and uh, I will miss you, old tear. We will hold you. So if it's anything, well, at least she's with her mother now. Anyway, I do. I do like um. I do like the Aldoan versus. Not to fight that fight is pretty cool, especially near the end when Aldoan's lost gain has finally a full power. And yeah, he puts a hurt on Natsu, like he almost kills him. Like it's not until like Natsu gets back up, knots off the wounds. No power of friendship, sh no power of friendship stuff. He just gets back up. Yeah, that's how you can tell he's pretty overpowered. <laughs> Like no power. I know people. I know people will say that fairy tales, of uses the power of friendship trope a little bit too much. However, with this, uh, uh nope, not with this one. He f gets back up with those wounds inside him. With him getting stabbed by trees, by spikes, or whatever they're called, that Groot or Adon Groot. I know that's a joke, but that's basically what this auto on God Seed form is. It's basically Groot. That's not me joking or anything. It basically is Groot. That's not me trying to kid around or joke or anything. It's basically Groot. And seeing him get pummeled is pretty cool. And another cool fight in this season in this arc is probably the Gajio versus Natsu rematch. Like, that's pretty cool. They haven't, f and now thinking about it, they haven't fought since the first fight in, I believe, what was it called? The Phantom Lord arc. They haven't fought in so long. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a fresher to see like a rematch between these two and Guess who wins? Um, Natsu so wins, technically. Even though that we kind of tricked Natsu <coughs> to give Gajio the win. Yeah. Because Natsu is kind of on a beast mode and tends to get carried away a little bit. And some of the fights in this season are pretty good. Like, Wendy gets a new power up, she gets the Wendy boost. Wendy Bursum form. Yeah, that's pretty cool. She finally gets a power up. And she even and I re made to come back. She made to come back. It's kinda weird that we don't see her legs. Mostly because I didn't the anime. I think it had to get um censored a little bit. But yep, it's kinda cool that we saw Irene come back. That's cool. Irene's back. Yay. Yay, Irene's back! Woohoo! Woohoo! And yes, Irene comes back and helps Wendy win the fight. And beat Nibble. And I'm guessing Irene's gonna teach Wendy some magic. So, yeah. So, this is not the last we've seen of Irene. However, um, 
Is there any downsides to this arc? How does it compare to the Mercophobia arc? Well, um, it compares pretty well with the fights that are in it. The fights are pretty cool and pretty unique. So the fights do make up for the few fights that um, the Mercophobia arc got. I believe there weren't that many fights. Mostly it was because it was an introducing... It was a setup arc and was trying to reintroduce people into the fairy tale world from after hiatus. So it was just a setup arc for arcs to come in fairy tale hundred year quests. And Aldoan arc is pretty good. It's definitely a heads up. Do I think it's better than the Mercophobia arc? That's yeah, I guess so. Even though Merc- even though Mercophobia is probably I like a little bit more than Ardoan because Mercophobia is so huge and the massive destruction that he causes is so unique. And what's funny is Mercophobia is actually more powerful than Ardoan, and Ardoan's way huger than all the dragons. All of them. Like, he's technically the second weakest dragon god next to um, something I can't say on YouTube because I don't want to spoil the anime only fans. The anime only people who watch Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest who are just watching this. I'm, I don't want to say it, but let's just say um, I spent a big surprise. But it's probably the second weakest dragon god. I'll just say it right there. If you're wondering who the weakest is, you'll find out later. But at the moment, he's the weakest dragon god amongst the five. I believe Vernes is another dragon god that will be introduced way later down the line. And yeah. And I'm just wondering how they're going to end the season because there's only we're on episode 19 and there's only like six episodes left and technically they did like a 13.5 episode which just gives people a recap i'm wondering if they're gonna do the same thing like they did with eden zero where they're gonna have an extra episode in the beginning of the year and come out of nowhere or they're just gonna end it right there I'm assuming they're going to do like an extra episode just to drag out the runtime for 25, or they're just going to end it at like episode 24. I'm not sure how they're going to end the season. It's kind of weird that we actually got that Fairy Tale got a half episode. It's kind of weird because Fairy Tales never had a half episode. Like, never, like, ever had a half episode. Like, never had a half episode. I don't think Vaitel ever had a half episode. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, what do I think of this arc? Is it good? Yes, it's good. It's perfect. It's perfect. Perfect to perfection. Like, everything about this arc is amazing. Like, all the fights are cool. Everything, the story development moves at a cool pace. Some of the moment, some of the Zadam moments do hold up pretty well. Some of the cool fights, cool every emotional moments, sad moments. These fights are cool. I'm enjoying this. These fights are cool, and yeah, the fights are cool. The story moves at a decent pace, and. Um, some of the newer characters he introduced, like I believe, like Bob, or not Bob, um, one of the characters from a new dragon god, a base, basically the ghost dragon slayer or spirit dragon slayer, who can inhabit other people's. It's a really unique idea because we never had like a spirit wizard. Let's count Mavis, but we've never really had like a spirit wizard, so that's a really unique idea. And Raph is a pretty unique idea for a was for like a wizard. Like he can copy, he 
he can possess other people's bodies. Like, he possesses happy, and nothing happens. He possesses other people. Nothing happens unless he just punches them. And so, Raph looks for somebody, and he finds Makarov, which is the worst person you want to get to fight Natsu. And Natsu's like, no, yeah, he's not winning that. And turns out, Natsu finally got what he wanted and actually beat Makarov. He beat Makarov in his prime. Technically, in his prime. But he beat Makarov. We've been waiting for this for so long, and it finally happened. But how would I say the fight hold up? Well, each episode is pretty good. This really... It's really pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. And how it adapted the manga was pretty on points on how it adapted the manga. Like, the only problems that I have with it are probably, um, um, what was the name? I forgot her name. The cat, the uh, Toka, the Toka cat, Toka. At seed and um and what else? Um, the way that Wendy Borussia's outfit looks. That's probably my only issue because I thought the Borussia outfit looked similar to Irene's. I didn't expect it to be like blue. Like. I didn't expect it to have like a boot cape, like similar to Wendy. Um, that's a unique choice. That's a unique choice. And Toka, I'm not a very big fan of the colors, to be honest. Yeah, not sure how I feel about the colors that they chose. So this kind of purple, but um, yeah, it doesn't. When you compare it to some fan art and fan designs and what the colors should look like and yes i know there's no official art of what the colors would look like for until like the anime which yeah i like the official art better like they made it look unique like they gave it they made it green they made it black they had some arts were like blue and black man like i wanted her to actually look pink and green, to be honest. That would have been a unique idea. But nope. He got uh, white and some kind of purple. Nothing against purple, but and nothing against that. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the colors <laughs> that they chose for the cat. Like, it just doesn't look like Toka. <laughs> it doesn't look like the cute Toka that you see in the manga. Like, I didn't expect Toka to actually look like that. So that caught me off the guard. So that's probably my only Nick Pitts with this arc, is just the way that Toka looks and the way that the Wendy Burson outfit looks. I think that's my only Nick Pitts with the arc. But besides that, it's a good arc. It's a really, really good arc. I enjoy this arc. It's pretty minimalist. All the fights are good. The story development moves at a decent pace. And character and emotional moments, there are some, are pretty good. And yeah, I, I enjoyed this arc. It's pretty good. I give it a solid watch. I would watch this all the time. I probably am going to watch this once, once this season's over. And I think... I'm not sure how long we're going to wait for the second season. I think the second season won't come out until like the manga's actually finished. So there might be a little bit of a wait for the second season because I'm pretty sure, if I'm guessing, they're going to wait until the manga is finished in order to do the second season. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to wait until the manga's finished so that they don't have to wait. <coughs> like, I'm pretty sure we're, like, in the final arc. So, yeah. It's not like they're going to make... It's not like this is going to be, like, a surprise arc. 
make a fuss, yeah, it's gonna be like a surprise bet. Like everybody, like the entire fan base has been he's has been saying like, no, he's not a baddie, guys. There's no way. Like seriously, you think a fessier is a bad guy? No, come on, come on, people, no, just no. Yeah, but anyway, I enjoyed this arc. It's pretty good. But with that said, this is gonna turn off. And remember, stay big, fairy tale fans. See you in the next one. Bye bye.